Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you a drugstore versus high-end makeup look, if you will. I'm going to do half of my face high-end and half of my face drugstore and just going to basically try and create a similar look using both. Some of these products are like quite good dupes and I'd really recommend, you know, the cheaper product. Uh, some of them are not quite dupes, they are similar enough to work in the same way, if you know what I mean, but they're not exactly the same product. So I'm just going to jump right in, get started and show you, or show me really, if I can create um, a similar look using high-end and drugstore makeup products. So let's go! Okay, so I've zoomed you in a little bit, I'm just going to pop this little clip in my hair because you know, why not? And let's go. I've already moisturised my skin. I didn't use like a, a high-end and a drugstore one for my face. I just used the one I always use all over my face. Okay, so the first product I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. And I'm going to use this. I don't know which side to do high-end and which side to do drugstore. I think I'm just going to do drugstore on this side. I really hope I don't forget which side is which. So for the high-end side, I'm going to be using the Benefit Professional one. They're very similar. And they both have done the exact same thing to my skin, so. Okay, so moving on to foundation. I'm actually going to be using a tinted moisturiser. Um, and a BB cream. So the drugstore one that I'll be using is the Olay Essentials BB Cream Complete Care Touch of Foundation oh, with Max Factor. There we go. And this is in the shade Medium. Yeah, Medium. It's got SPF 15 as well, which is nice. Okay, so I'm just buffing that in. It's not, obviously it's a BB cream, so it's not going to cover loads, but if I zoom in, it's quite nice. So for my high-end side, I'm going in with, of course, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser, the illuminating one. So this has got a lot more glow in it than the Olay one, um, which might look a bit weird. Oh, my mum started bloody hoover again. Sorry if that is just the most annoying noise, but <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to blend this side in now. And instantly you see it's so much more glowy, but oh well. But you know what? That's not, that's not terrible. They don't look that different. It's just the glow. Okay, so that is the base done. Now I'm going to move on to concealer. I'll do my face like spot concealing, redness concealing. So for the drugstore side, I'm going to use the Collection Lasting Perfection. I'm pretty sure you knew that was coming. It's the best drugstore concealer. Everyone knows that. So I'm going to put a bit around my nose. Sorry, this is the shade Warm Medium 3. Uh, and then just pop a bit anywhere. I think I need a little bit of extra coverage. So for my high-end side, I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Medium Custard to do exactly the same thing. This is a, actually a really similar formula to the collection one. It's like that thick, creamy formula. Um, But if I'm being completely honest, I actually prefer the collection one. So, save yourself a bit of money there. You know, the skin is actually looking really, really good on both sides. I'm like really loving it. So the next thing I'm going to do is conceal underneath my eyes. So for the drugstore side, I have to keep really thinking about which side it is. I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in the shade 4 Beige. 
love this for underneath the eyes. Okay, and then on the other side I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm. I'm just going to flip the sponge over onto this side, this side, to do this bit. So, so far I'm literally loving the skin and I can't tell that much of a difference between the two sides, that's crazy. So I was going to add um, a little bit of a highlighting concealer just right in the corners here because I am quite dark there. So I'm going to do that. For the drugstore side I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lumi Magique in shade 1 Light. And for the other side I'm using the YSL Touche Clat in shade 1. Oh my god, I just poked myself right in the eye. These two products are literally the same thing. Um, you probably have heard all over YouTube that YSL and L'Oreal are the same company or owned by the same people I should say. Um, so, you know, it's a it's the same product. The next thing I'm going to do is just set everything down with a translucent powder. So for the drugstore side, come on now, we all know what I'm going to choose. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in translucent, transparent even. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use that to set this side of my face. Wonderful. So again, it's going to be no surprise to you that the high-end side is going to be the Laura Mercier Invisible Press Powder in Universal. It's my absolute favourite. So in terms of these two powders, honestly they do the same thing. I'm not even going to lie to you, they do the same thing. The Laura Mercier one is just a lot finer um, and it kind of blurs the skin. The L'Oreal one doesn't do that. But honestly the L'Oreal one is working magic today. So now that I have set my face I'm going to do some contouring. So for my drugstore side I'm going to be using the Sleek Contouring and Blush Palette in Light. And I'm just going to be taking we'll see the contour shade. and applying that just underneath my cheekbones. Okay, and then for the high-end side, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm using the shade Fawn, which is this middle shade right here. Seriously, I need to get my hands on another one of these because I've used it to death. They both blend like a dream. There's like not much difference at all with those two powders, so, wow. I mean, I've used these products all before, of course, but I've never actually like compared the two like side by side at the same time and actually like really reviewed them both and oh my goodness, like some of these products are just blowing my mind. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is bronze. So for my drugstore side, I'm going for the NYC Big Bold Bronzer in... Manhattan. And then for my high end side, I'm using the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in shade bronzed. Okay, the next thing I'm going to apply is blusher. So I'm going to be using on the drugstore side the Revolution, the Makeup Revolution blusher in shade Now. It's like just a really nice movie purpley muted shade and as a 
dupe for that I'm going to be using the MAC blusher in Blush Baby. It's slightly lighter and not as purple but it's the closest I could get. You know, I'll show you those two side by side actually. They're pretty similar. I mean, it does the same thing. This was one pound and this was 13, I wanna say. Okay, next is highlighter. So on the drugstore side, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Golden Lights. Really pretty highlighter. Whoa. Okay, so to rival that, and it does rival it, but it is a lot more expensive, the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in Sin. So this one is slightly more champagne-y rather than straight up like white gold. I'll show you. It's just got more of a sort of browny golden undertone rather than like white frosty goldiness. But actually they come off quite similar on the skin, so I'll show you. And they actually reflect pretty much the same. So now we can move on to eyes. So I'm going to do my eyebrows first. I'm um, just going to brush them through real quick. So for eyebrows, this is quite difficult. I don't have that much eyebrow stuff. Like I just don't, I stick to the things I know and love. So I've got two similar products, but they're different colors. So my eyebrows might turn out completely different colors. Um, we're just gonna have to deal with that for the sake of the video, you know. Okay, so for my drugstore side, I'm using the Sleek Eyebrow Kit in light. Looks like this. Sorry about how dirty it is. So you get the sort of waxy pomade side and then a powder to set it. Um, so I'm going to use that. And then on my high-end side, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. So I'm just going to quickly show you how different these colours are in terms of pomade. <laughs> so I'm going to have one taupey brown, one dark brown brow. But we'll see how it goes. I might be able to set this with a darker brown eyeshadow to balance it out. So I'm going to take the sleek one first and just dip into the pomade side. Okay, so that is the sleek brow done. It's quite dark and actually quite warm toned. So, uh, okay. I'm going to set that in a second. I'm going to move on to the pomade on this side. Let's wipe my brush off real quick. Okay, now I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in taupe. So you can see, especially in the inner, inner parts of the brow, this is so much more ashy than this one. Um, and I much prefer the colour of the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. But in terms of actual um, formula of the products, they I really, I really like them both, you know. So now I'm just going to wipe my brush off again and just dip into the eyeshadow side of this and set this brow. Definitely toned the warmth down a little bit more. It's also darkened the brow quite a bit, so I'm gonna have to go over this brow with an eyeshadow. I'm gonna I'm gonna use MAC Charcoal Brown on this brow and see how that goes. Oh dear. I mean <laughs> we're gonna have to deal with it. It's fine, whatever. Okay. So now that the brows are done, we can move on to eyes, and I'm really excited for the eyes. I have a little treat for you. Um, it's not really that much of a treat, but... Okay, so I have got the, for my high-end side, my favourite palette of all time, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Now, you've probably already seen this because it was like a big thing a little while ago, but an another brand bought out basically a dupe for this palette. 
and it's the I Heart Makeup I Heart Chocolate Palette and it's pretty much all of the same shades in the exact same layout and so yeah I'm really excited I haven't even opened this yet I'm really excited to try it so this was actually $7.99 this I actually can't remember how much this is. I think it's around the 30 something, 35, 39, something like that. Um, yeah, so it's really exciting. This is really exciting. Okay, so the first thing I always do with my eyes, which I'm going to do now, is use white chocolate from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette all over my lid on the high end side, of course. And then I'm going to take the I mean the same shade the dupe for white chocolate which is this one it's called you need love oh, thanks um and I'm going to take this one oh pigmented and I'm going to take that all over this side oh my gosh the mirror in here is incredible That has actually done a really similar thing. I mean, it is what it is. I'm really impressed with that. Okay. So my next thing that I do literally every day is I take, what's this called? Salted Caramel, I believe, from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm taking that in the crease. So now I'm just going to swap my brush out for another brush. That was the Zoeva 27. 227. Now I'm swapping it for the MAC 217. And I'm taking the dupe colour from this palette, which is this one here. It's called Thank Friday. And dipping into that. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so, so it's not as pigmented. But it's still a really nice shade. It's not as warm, actually. Like, not as orangey as Salted Caramel. But it's still nice. Okay, so for my high-end side, this is a look I do constantly. I'm going to take this shade, which is called Creme Brulee from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm applying this with my finger. I always do this. I'm just going to blend that out with the brush I used in the crease. And then I'm doing the same thing. I'm taking the same shade from this palette. It's called Chocolate Love. And then I'm going to put that on with my finger as well. Looks pretty similar to me. Ah, okay. Not as pigmented at all. At all. It's not as pigmented, but it's really similar in the shade. That's really nice. I really like that. And then again, blending out with that 217. Okay, so I'm going to darken up the outer corners. I'm going to use the shade Cherry Cordial on this Jane Iredale crease brush. And then I'm going to take a this crown brush and dip into the same shade of this palette, which is called What A Way To Go. That's more pigmented than this one. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's nicer than this one. It's more cherry. This this one doesn't actually come off that red um, from the Too Faced palette. I've noticed that when I've used it before. It's more of just a brown with red in it. This is so red and lovely. It's like a proper burgundy shade. Oh. I'm not going to put anything on my lower lash line just because I don't fancy it. <laughs> um, but I am going to just quickly take the shade Champagne Truffle, this highlight shade, and pop it in my inner corner. Okay. 
and then I'm going to flip the brush over and dip into the corresponding shade. It's called Endorphins Ready. Okay, so that's the eyeshadow done. Um, I'm really impressed with that, like love it so much. Okay, I'm just going to curl the eyelashes. So for mascara, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational on my drugstore side. I said Lash Sensational, it's sorry, it's the falsies one. And then for the high-end side, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Everything Mascara. Yeah, okay, that's... Not doing anything, one second. I'm just going to use the uh, Benefit Bad Girl Lash. I think this is a bit more similar to the um, Maybelline one. Okay, that's the lashes done. So finally, the lips. I'm going to take the Topshop lip liner in ceramic on my drugstore side. And then I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheeked in Pillow Talk for my high-end side. I mean, they're pretty similar. The Charlotte Tilbury one's slightly more pink and the Topshop one's slightly more brown, but generally they're pretty similar. And then lipstick. Drugstore side, I'll be using the Maybelline uh, Matte Colour Sensational Lipstick in Nude Embrace. Okay, and for my high-end side, I'll be taking the MAC Matte Lipstick in Honey Love. I mean, they're slightly different, but they're bloody similar. That is everything done, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna give you a close-up. So this is the drugstore side. And this is the high-end side. I literally can't tell a difference. It's ridiculous. In terms of skin, I can't tell a difference. It's absolutely crazy. Um, obviously, eyeshadow is slightly different because the colours were slightly different in the palette. But generally speaking, like, it's so good. Okay guys, so that is the finished video. I literally can't believe how well this turned out. Like, it just looks so good. Like, the drugstore products are on par with the high-end products I used in this video. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below letting me know if you did. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.